Hi everybody, hope you're all well. Uh, video this morning, it's a bit of a miserable day down here, so it's pouring it down. So when I come down, it's Zephyr this morning. So came down, I came out, couple of presses on pedal, fired up, run straight up on cam on choke, and started. Now, if you read manual on that car, it says press pedal once, but it never catches cam on, on show the first time, you have to do it twice, but that's just my knowledge and my you being used to care. I mean, the reason I'm doing video because I were at Matheson's the other day, and, um, well, Matheson's, and I was on Matheson's, but there's a W in it, and uh, there were people just roaming about, and these people were roaming about, and um, they were looking round, you could see them looking, you could see they'd all got the like classic car fantasy in their head and all that, because a lot of it is a fantasy, because a lot of cars, that, well, they were cars, but they were just full of filler, and they were just, you know, they were, they were pretty to look at, but you know, but they were out of shape, I could see they are out of shape, and I thought, well, they're not going to over last long, they'll probably boil a bit time to get down the road, because they're supposed to have had a so-called rebuilt engine that went to been done, the usual stuff. But what I'm saying to you is, is if you're going to have a classic car, you've got to know a bit about a classic car. And these cars, as I keep telling you, are getting older and older now. So it isn't just some fantasy you go out and get one. You've got to have some knowledge. And what we've got is a lack of knowledge now. I mean, that's the main reason for me doing half this stuff on YouTube. You know, I'm just trying to educate people in what it involves. I mean, these things, you know, I have these things. And I can make these reliable as well. It's the good engine units, you know, I mean... Basically, they'll say, oh, they've got overheating problems, this, that. that's generally, because they've never had a rad, you know, and they might have a rogue head gasket. Well, it's not a major job to do heads on them, and it can be sorted, sorted in no time. So, so I don't class that as an issue. The setback brake's an issue, that's another thing. It can be sorted, and what a lot do, they just pump the brakes up, so when they put new things, they don't adjust the handbrake first, like you should do if you read book, and then you, you're right, you know, so... A lot of this, these issues that these so-called cars have are self-brought on because there's so many so-called specialists been working on them over the years that practically just want to get job done, get the money and get on. I mean, because some of the work that we've done in the 70s, 80s were appalling. But as far as getting work done now, I don't think... There's, there's very few paint shops, there's very few Spanish shops that can deal with because everything's changed. I mean, when I was young, we used to go to... A, place called DMA, Doncaster Motor Accessories, I think it was called, and uh, it was like, it was like, had a cult following, it used to be like 50 people in the shop, you know, it were about six terraced houses all knocked through it to make one big sh shop, and you know, everybody go buy some spotlights or some <laughs> back, back uh, what is it, uh, reverse lights they were putting on, or set of air horns, you know, they were spoiler, you know, it were all like that, that's what it all was, but now, nah, it's just like the showrooms and more or less new cars and then there's 900 different components if you're in for a track or an end for a car because they've made so many of it years. It's just a different sort of carry off. But this is what I'm saying to you. So if you are going to have a classic car, there's not a lot to go, to, not a lot in a classic car. You know, it's pretty straightforward what's doing. But what you've got, you've got the burden of people over years that have been in there. And... What happens with that is um, everybody's had their like bite at it. So you get wiring loans that are the bits added on, this is added on, they've done this, they've done that. Instead of going back nailing faulty first place, so you may as well just rip all the old modifications out and start again. Everybody has a thing about relays, it's, it's, it doesn't work, it's crap. Well, it does work if it's done right, but it would be a major rewire, not just stick a relay here, do that, do it over. Same with brakes. So, I've done this, oh, I've done that. They've, they've changed something, they've put a different master cylinder on. If you can get original part, if, stick with them and get them reconditioned. There's still people out there, they're hard to find that, but you will find them, you know. So, so get job done right. These people know what they're doing. And these people have been at it for a lot of years. So, I mean, same with body work, as I said earlier. I mean, finding a body shop now that will cut you a section of a car out and repair it correctly, you have no chance. And I mean... And most of these old cars, if you'll go in, the amount of filler in them is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, these dipping tanks that they dip them in, if they drain them tanks, God, they must need a back actor to get to clear them out. They must be that bad. But like, like I've said to you before, I mean, I'm doing these videos so to help me the wrong way. But I saw them cars, some of them cars on um, Tuesday, and 
got some nice stuff there. And were, I mean, stuff I had to pick. There were a nice Cortina GT up there, 16 Mach 2. And uh, it had some doors come waiting. That sort of project one, because it, it looked like it might have had one paint in its life or something. It was not inundated, you know. The, then there were loads of shiny stuff that you think, all oh, right, that'll, you know. There were a Series 3 Jag, and I just took one look at back arches, and they didn't resemble any Jag back arches. They were just full of filler. I mean, I have wings for them, back wings, so that would have been an easy fix for that. But then again, it's what state restaurant is. But what I'm saying to you is, if you're going for classic car dream, you need to make sure you get a right classic car. Because I use classic cars every day, and they start for me to do everything I want. But I know what I'm doing, and that is the secret behind it. You know, because the days of taking them to a garage, having this done, having that, well, you're probably going to find you're going to be disappointed. And days are like just going down to... Uh, what is it, motor spares and getting some parts, they're getting harder and harder. Now you're having to have stuff reconditioned. I mean, we'll be going through stuff like that, I'll show you how to start to recon a starter, dynamo. I'm not so much into alternators because they're a bit modern for some of the stuff I work with, you know, but I mean, we'll see, we'll see what's in it. I mean, I'll, I'll go through as much stuff as I can. I mean, even if it's like down to setting a set of points because you know, everybody goes mad about they've got they want an electronic ignition. Why? If it fails, you're coming on on a truck. If a set of points just won't gap in, you gap them. Or you can have another set of points in your book. Same with rotor arm, you know, same with a dizzy cap. It's easy, a few plugs. Because plugs now, you'll start a car in there at garage half a dozen times. You've got, well, you've got problems because they're going to fail. They need burning off, you know. And I mean, I'll show you that. That'll be another video. I'll probably do it. But not the most exciting video on how to bring a plug back to life. There's a few ways of doing it, but. As a general rule, they don't like the, what is it now, they don't like two star fuel, so no, it does tend to cause problems with them, they don't seem to burn off the right temperature. So, but anyhow, that's just me going through a few bits and pieces regarding classic cars, because there's a lot of bits and pieces, and you can have a lot of fun with them, but I'm just saying, it's probably not all fantasy that you think about. If you sort one, you haven't got a problem, but you've got to keep top side of them and keep working at it, because... They're old, and it's like it's like some, if somebody's twenty year old, they're going to clamber up an eight foot wall, no problem. If somebody's fifty year old, they're going to be towing getting up an eight wall. Could do we have a set of steps to help them? You know, it's like it's simple as that. You know, time's catching them up now, and they need some work. And, and what's what all glitters is not always gold. So I mean, I've told you all this probably before, but I haven't put this down on YouTube because it's something new that I'm doing. I mean, I don't. I, I mean, I don't hundred percent understand really what where I'm going with all what I'm doing but it's something I wanted to do and that's something I think I can pass some of my skills on because it don't really matter what you put in front of me regarding one I can sort them out but the trouble is with me is time's running out and I mean I've got whatever I've got on in at work at the moment and we're in a situation where uh, I want to get these finished get some of my own done so I just haven't got the time to do major major works now other than some of my own cars and we're doing a bit of refurbing work, blasting and powder coating and stuff like that, so to help people out, or because people who do that sort of stuff disappearing. Anyhow, I don't know if you've got out on this, or you've cracked what I'm trying to say to you, or if you, if you understand where I'm going with it, but what I'm saying to you is, is, if you want a classic car, it can be a load of fun, absolute load of fun, but basically now they are very, very, very old vehicles, and they do need major work, and if you even if you see a complete refurbished one, it might be a, it might be a trailer queen, it might not have gone anywhere, you know. I mean, it's it's probably it's, it's exhaust from the not even got any carbon in, you know. They need to be run, they need to be driven, and they enjoy it. And if they're right, they're right. And you've just got issues with parts now, like you've never had. You've got issues where you can't find people who can work on them, like you never had. So just watch what you're doing out there. Anyhow, if you like this video, give us a like, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, there'll be plenty more stuff going on, because that's what I intend doing. Keep grabbing odd hour to make a video or whatever, and, um, you know, give us a subscribe to the channel, and you should see a lot more that you want to think of. If, if you want to know, pass me a comment, and I'll come back to you. So, anyhow, I don't know if you've got out from that, but I'll see you next time, so bye for now.